One of the attorneys representing the former president in this investigation, Jim Trustee, is here with us. Jim, thank you for joining us. And you heard all of that reporting from Caitlin. But I want to ask you, were you aware of this, the existence of this tape prior to this report? Yeah, this is really missing the real story here. I mean, this, you guys teased it by saying what great reporting it is, what great journalism. I'm sure you're happy to have people talking to you. But this is a leak campaign. This but, is. Well, well, I understand just, what you're saying. Let me give it but a, I'm a, a just quick second. Here. I'm just wondering. Do you did you know that this tape existed? And are there others? I am not going to try a case based on the government leaks. But we need to just recognize the significance of the moment, which is DOJ and FBI, or some combination of them, are engaging in a leak campaign. Now, this actually started three days after the raid on Mar-a-Lago with an unprecedented press conference. You've never seen in the history of prosecution just, an attorney general I, doing that. Jim, and we're, we're on to, that same I just, line. Jim, I just have to correct you. The Mar-a-Lago raid was publicized by your client. Uh, the Abby, former President Abby, Trump tweeted out that it was happening Abby, when it was, it was happening. Well, it was a highly publicized moment when dozens of FBI agents hit the uh, President Biden's political opposition with a raid. But the point, what I was pointing to, and the, the common thread here that we need to recognize is three days later, for the first time in the history of prosecution, I've been in criminal justice 32 years, a prosecutor, the attorney general, stands up and says, I want to announce that we did this raid, and I want to, I want to be selectively transparent. I want to leak out some parts of the warrant, but nine months later, we haven't seen the affidavit. This is I, consistent. This is leaking evidence in a campaign to justify the unjustifiable. All right. A point taken about how you feel about the information being in the public, but the substance of it. These tapes would indicate that former President Trump knew that the documents that he had were classified. Does that not make uh, his statements about blanket declassification and some statements by his representatives, wouldn't that make those lies? Yeah, I'm not going to dignify the DOJ leak. What I will tell you is this. It, when you are, but this I mean, is, this is addressing like you. I don't want well, to address the substance. Well, it'd also be nice if you let me answer. So let me just try to answer because I am trying to be responsive, but I'm not going to bite on a leak campaign and try the case in the media. What I will tell you is there is no doubt that as commander in chief, and when the president left Washington, D.C. for Mar-a-Lago, he was actually still president. When he left for Mar-a-Lago with boxes of documents that other people packed for him that he brought, he was the commander-in-chief. There is no doubt that he has the constitutional authority as commander-in-chief to declassify. It does not have to go through some sort of bureaucratic process to be declassified. But so, wouldn't it be very easy to simply prove that he dis declassified them? Because even though he doesn't have to go through a process, he does have to decide that it's been done. Did sure. he tell anyone? Yes. And, yeah. and can you prove it? Sure, but we're so not going to try that. Did we're, he declassify this document that we're referring to? We're, we're not going to try the case leak by leak. What I can tell you is the leaks that come out, some of them are objectively false. Some of them lack I, context. But this is very significant. If you are saying that he <laughs> sure declassified is. the documents, you should be able to say whether this document had been declassified. I'm not trying my case for CNN. So you won't so, say? Of course not. You right. won't. And, and will you say in the court of law that he declassified this document? Well, if I'm in a court of law, I'll, I'll defend my client as I need to. But let me make this point very clear. If you have the authority to declassify, you're not wedded to any bureaucratic process. It's and who exactly did he like tell, pardons. By the way? It's exactly like the pardon who process. Did he tell? Well, let me just finish the thought so your viewers understand where I'm going. If you have a pardon, it might be something where you go through the pardon attorney, yeah. where the attorney general makes a recommendation, a bureaucratic process. That's not the constitutional part of it. You have the authority as the president to do it. So if somebody walks in and says, "Pardon Jack Johnson, he was treated horribly as a, you know by racist," you can pardon him without the application process. Same thing goes with the yeah, classification. I, I, you don't I, have to go through that process. I, I, I'm not disputing that, but Good. like with the pardon process, you would need to tell someone in the bureaucracy that you've right. done it. So who did he tell that we're, he declassified We are not trying document? our case leak by leak. In so the let media. me ask you this. You signed a letter to Congress saying that this was all just the result of a rushed pack job. Essentially, you said when President Trump left office, there was little time to prepare. The White House staffers, GSA administration employees, they quickly packed everything up in boxes and shipped them to Florida, but it seems that this tape indicates that at least Trump knew specifically that he had this specific document. What the letter is designed to do, as much as you want me to try the leak in the press, the letter was designed to tell Congress that we have a very politicized national archivist that is going after one president only, that they broke their own internal rules in doing this, and that ultimately what needs to be fixed is the general system of declassification. What we need 
is more attention to the process of transition. There was no there was no science to the transition when President Trump left. But that being said, people hurrying around. I think it's it's contradictory to say that we didn't know what was in the boxes when Trump knew what was in the box. The other part of this is that we're talking about a conversation that happened at the Bedminster Club. So is it your understanding that documents went from Mar-a-Lago to Bedminster after he left the presidency? The president, under the Presidential Records Act, has unfettered authority to do what he wants with documents that he's taken from the White House while president. And so if he wants to declassify them, if he wants to personalize them under the Presidential Records Act... That is well, his right, and that doesn't lead to criminal that, investigations. Be, be it never as, has be before, that as it and may, probably but never I think will the, again. The record needs to show that you won't even say whether this document was declassified. Oh. And in fact, there is a tape that your client has said that the document is still classified. So <clears> you, <throat> you can make that argument, but only if you are also trying to establish that this document is declassified. No, I, I am not going to sit here and dignify leaks that are incomplete, that are are unfair and that are dishonest. This is a leak campaign. And you guys have the access to somebody from DOJ or FBI. You're touting the official line that they want you to pursue because they want to legitimize something that was never criminal. And for no other president has there ever been a document retention issue that's been treated as a criminal investigation. Why why would former President Trump have a document that uh, seems to pertain to military plans regarding a very significant U.S. adversary, have them in his possession and be discussing them with people who don't have an appropriate clearance, whether he declassified them or not. Why would he do that? You know what's really fascinating about the leak is DOJ is trying to justify this persecution of the current administration's leading opposition by saying, oh, my God, he had these sensitive materials that he shouldn't have had. And then they leak to you guys vivid details of a document that they say is classified. I mean, it, you know, they can't have their cake I mean, and eat it, too. To be fair, these are not vivid. These are not vivid. De- for, to be fair, this is, these are not vivid details of the document. Trump is on the video describing the contents of this document to people, biographers of his former chief of staff. So he's the one doing the describing. <laughs> you, you just did a piece with Caitlin that basically vouched for saying these are the details we're hearing, whether it's his description or actually seeing the document. What I'm telling you is I'm not trying the case in the media. I'm not going to sit here and address the document as if it's right or if that audio tape exists or as if it's not something that's really wrong. It's, this is persecutorial justice. I've been around DOJ for 27 years. I've never seen a leak campaign like this. Were any documents ever. that former President Trump took with him to any of his properties, did they contain, any of them contain sensitive military plans? Yeah, I'm not trying my case in the press. So he would have the right to possess them if they did, but I'm not going to address that. He would have the. Would he have the right to possess them if they were classified documents? Yes. Because I'm because the, pres, the Presidential Records Act actually says that those documents belong to the federal government. Now the Presidential Records Act says once there's a determination of whether something is a presidential record, then it goes to the archivist. All the discretion in the world is with the president himself when he makes that first call. If they disagree, so let me read, they can sue civilly. That's, let me just that's read what the litigation it. says. Let me just read the, the relevant statute for the audience. The, the United States shall reserve and retain complete ownership, possession, and control of presidential records. Presidential it's, records. See, here's the thing. What we've built into the system is there are years of conversation, typically years of conversation, about whether or not certain documents are personal or presidential, Okay. Obama, 2018, wrote a letter. His foundation wrote a letter to NARA saying, we have thousands of classified documents. We'll get them to you eventually. But that's the not, key that is, is not what happened. Oh, sure the, it is. The, I'll show you the letter. NARA, NARA retained control over <laughs> all of those documents NARA announced, that you... NARA announced. NARA retained control over all of those documents that you're describing, including the facilities that they were kept in. No. That's been... That's been no, fact-checked. No, I, NARA, I, has given an official, NARA has given an official politicized statement saying we had legal custody. They, they didn't have physical custody. They, they control the facility why, that why the documents would the, were in. Why would the Obama Foundation I wanna, write a letter? Well, let me finish. Look, I, don't, me I, don't wanna, I don't want to get bogged down in, other, in other presidents. I'm talking but about your... But you've just misstated something I want to fix. Can I'm, I just I'm fix it real quick? I'm talking about your client here. I'm talking, I'm talking about, about your client And here. I'm talking about You're dual making... systems of justice. You're, when you... you have a president who has thousands of documents and Nara says, don't worry, we have legal custody, 
Nobody would write a letter saying we'll what return eventually if they didn't have custody What you are describing is, according to NARA, a mischaracterization of what is right. going on. And but what I'm, what, what I'm asking you is, when it comes to your client, you're, you will not say what he has said, 